Hey there, Newton Dev here. So you want to make a game, but you need a little nudge? Well, this video might help you. Here are some tips and tricks in starting your game dev journey. Number 1. Just pick a game engine and learn it. I mean, there are so many game engine out there that have these features or have these missing features or bugs that you're going to think of. I mean, every engine has these things, right? There's no perfect engine there. So you might as well just pick one and start with it. If you're worried that you might not have any resources with them or you might not learn with them quickly, there are all sorts of tutorial and community behind it. You can just search the YouTube or you can just search the internet and you will find every single tutorial that you will need to make a game. The next one is probably the most common problem that every person who wants to start game development is having is that they're too busy or they don't have any time to make a game or to learn the game engine. The next tip is make time to develop or make time to learn that engine. The 5 minute rule and to block your time. The 5 minute rule is you set a timer for 5 minutes then within those 5 minutes is you just make a game or just learn the game engine and nothing else. No other distraction just purely focus on game development. Then when the time is up and you don't feel like continuing, it's okay, you can just stop. But if you still feel like doing it, just continue. It's not that there is no time or that the person is busy, it's just starting is the real hindrance there. But once you start, you will just continue or get with the flow with it. Then for the blocking of the time, just pick a time in your calendar and no matter what, when that time comes, you just start learning or start making a game. The last tip would be publish your first game no matter what. I know that sounds scary, but that's the point of you making a game, right? For the public to play it and enjoy it. I mean, so what if your first game doesn't look like the one you're expecting? It looks like a crappy ripoff of a game. I mean, it's your first game and it doesn't have to be as perfect as you thought it would be. Your first game wouldn't be the one you thought you'll make. And that's okay. The point here is you started making a game and you start publishing a game. It's like a rite of passage for game developer. On a side note, once you publish it, leave it and don't think about it. Let it sit there for just 24 hours, then you can go check it. It's like this constant nudging you that, hey, check your game. Hey, look at the numbers of your game. Don't, it will just make you be more anxious or make you feel sad if there's still zero views after one hour. It's okay, it's your first game. It doesn't matter if you have many views on it. The most important thing here is you publish your game. I hope this video nudge you to start your game dev journey today. Don't forget to like this video to help me with the YouTube algorithm and to help other aspiring game developers start their game dev journey. Subscribe for more contents like this and hit that notification bell icon for more. And if you're looking for a tutorial, I made one here. You can check that video next. And until then, cheers!